Rat populations are on the rise here in Middle Tennessee and in Nashville. They are just disgusting little creatures and Music City is growing really fast and these furry little pests are growing right along with us. I'm Erica Brewster with U.S. Pest Protection and today we're going to go over some disgusting facts about rats that you need to know and how we're going to help keep them out of your home or business. are incredibly resilient and tough. Man, they can survive longer than a camel can without water. They can fall five stories and survive. Oh my gosh, rats, they can even survive long doses of radiation and can swim um, a half a mile, like across a body of water. One thing that we want to look at when it comes to rats is like we want to protect the, our contamination of our food sources. So we don't want our food to be contaminated by these nasty little creatures. So we have to control them for the health of the public and the residents that live in this great city. It is not an urban legend that rats can poke their little head up through your toilet and swim through the toilet and get into your home or business through the toilet. They will swim through the pipes and out through the toilet seat will come a rat sometimes. Makes sense though, right? Because I mean, they use the sewer as their tunnels and their passageways underneath the city. Some cities even have what's called a quote, toilet rat season. We do not have a similar toilet rat season here in Middle Tennessee, but toilet entries have been known to happen. Two rats is all it takes to start a rat population. Now, of course, a mama rat and a daddy rat. They're gonna have up to 6,000 babies in their lifetime, or at least the mama is. And those babies at month three are gonna start having babies. That's like a very fast, insane growth rate. This is why rat control is extremely important. As soon as you see one of those little critters around your home or in your home, you wanna get that under control really quickly because they multiply fast. As Nashville's leading pest control company, we work diligently to ensure that rat populations are not a problem at your home or business. Rats can grow five and a half inches of teeth. That's, it, that's what it says. Five and a half inches of teeth per year. That's teeth that big. Can you imagine teeth that big? That's like that big. Rats are gonna file down those teeth so they don't stick down past their chin. They're gonna file them down by gnawing on wood and metal and brick and cement and food and Anything else that they can get their little teeth on? Can you imagine what their teeth would look like if they didn't gnaw their teeth? If they just kept on growing and growing and growing? Rats have been known to gnaw on electrical wire, which unfortunately can be a cause of lots of house fires. They have the potential to really cause some serious damage and threats to homeowners in Middle Tennessee and anywhere that there's a rat population. Rats can be extremely dangerous to just the normal, typical person living in a home, but some of the people that are most susceptible to being exposed to the threats of rats are gonna be our babies um, that are in cribs and are in a confined space. Of course, our elderly people that maybe don't have the ability to move around in the handicapped, of course, um, and as well as you know, the homeless population is basically living out there on the street with these rats. So they are the most susceptible to um, a rat attack. Like Lady and the Tramp, hello. Like we've all seen that movie. And when the baby scene comes on, like we, like mama bear, like we sit on the edge of our seat cause we want that rat out of there. Like we know, and we're like, go, go you little dog. Like you are not a tramp, you are a hero. You are our hero for keeping that rat out of that baby. Carriage, yes, I love that movie. <music> If you're scared of sharks and vampires, then you should definitely be afraid of rats too. They 
are viewing you just like they view anything else as a food source of all things. And their mouth like has a chomping pressure of up to 7,000 pounds and can literally chomp through the flesh and get right down to the bone. Like we just learned a second ago, like that bone is gonna help them gnaw their teeth. I don't think so. Not in my territory, you know what I'm saying? What's even worse about all these rats is that they carry a host of nasty diseases. These guys are in, and gals are in, trash cans, they're in toilets, they're in alleyways, they're in the walls, they're up and around and behind and all over. It's so nasty, those little rats are so gross. They're everywhere that's nasty. Hey, it's gonna make your skin crawl, okay? You ready for this? This is a freak accident that happens with rats. It's called the Rat King. And what the Rat King is, is it is when rats become clustered together, like, and not their bodies, it's like their tails, like their little tails become clustered together. They become stuck by their tails and then they die that way. They die stuck together in a ball of rats. Several of these Rat Kings balls. I don't know why they call it a king because it's a really a ball. It's really a rat ball. But the rat kings um, have been found um, in the Middle Ages, but they speculate they were staged as a hoax. However, the largest rat king known is a cluster of 32. Now, 32 mummified rats found in Germany in 1828. It's a ball, right? It's gross. There are several different types of rats that we protect homeowners and businesses from. You can tell what kind of rat you have by the shape of its nose or the shape of its droppings, even the length of its tail and the width of its tail. So if you're not sure or you want us to do a thorough inspection for you, including collecting those mouse droppings, if we were to find them and identifying them, we'd be happy to do that. Call us. Hey, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you've learned something and that you've enjoyed it. Hang around for a little while, subscribe to our channel and like us on Facebook. If you're a homeowner or a business owner here in Middle Tennessee, then give us a call. It's a free inspection. Here at US Pest Protection, we use industrial strength rat traps as well as a variety of different rat removal methods and prevention methods. You can even text us. Facebook message us, slide into our DMs, on our Twitters, and our Instagrams. Follow us while you're there. I'm sure everyone out there has seen the pizza rat in New York, right? The pizza rat is so funny. I just wonder what the Nashville pizza rat would look like. Would it be pulling hot chicken? Would it be pulling a biscuit? <laughs> would the pizza rat in Nashville look like a goo goo rat? I don't know. In the comments below, let me know what you think the pizza rat would look like if it were in Nashville.